So the game comes out June 1st. And in the first four days, 93 million hours of gameplay, which is equivalent to 10,000 human years. Right. What is the latest number of gameplay two weeks later? Uh, we're up to 350 million hours now of play. So it's pretty right. exciting. I think what's so interesting about this is the widespread adoption of the game. Can you tell us which console or platform is Diablo 4 been played on most? Well, I mean, it's sort of like the, the Diablo franchise is a, a long history, has a long history. It's 26 years old and it started its roots for really in PC. And so it's kind of that's been its main platform throughout its history. But that's one of the things we really focused on with Diablo 4 is we wanted to bring Diablo to a wider audience. And as part of that, we really wanted to embrace console and controller play because you can play with controller on PC. So while PC is the predominant um, platform that you can play on, we've seen a lot of growth in our console. In fact, Xbox said it was you know, Blizzard's fastest selling Xbox game as well. And so we're really excited about that new audience we're bringing in. So on that note, I have to then ask, when you think about the Activision Microsoft deal, what is the benefit to the Diablo universe? How does it help you grow? Well, I mean, that's all still ongoing. And so, you know, we think that the the deal is great for competition uh, in the marketplace. And uh, there's a lot of great things that come out of that. But I, I'm not really the one best to speak to the acquisition. Rod, th there are already two expansions in de development, I believe. <laughs> right. Yeah. Without getting that. ahead of ourselves, do we and when do we see a Diablo 5? <laughs> no, you're definitely getting ahead of yourself. Um, you know, this one of the things that we're really excited about is, you know, this is just representing the beginning of the of D the Diablo 4 experience. You know, this is when we launched this, it was after many years of development, but it really is a game that when we think of the launch as the beginning and not the end. And so what we're seeing is like we're continuing to invest in years and years of live service. So we're going to have quarterly seasons. We're going to have expansions that I talked about. We already have two in flight as as I talked to you today. And so we're really focused on making sure, you know, we have all the content that players want. It's, players now are very consumptive. They really want to have new content all the time. And it's quite a different model. I've been making games for, you know, 24 years. And it's really changed into gaming as a hobby and as a lifestyle where they always want to know what's next, what's the next thing I get to do in your game. And so we've been really focused on building this great foundation that we can now support for years to come. It is about bringing different people into gaming and indeed you said diversifying the way in which you access it. What about Max? I mean, you've had a rather famous player, Whoopi <laughs> Goldberg, coming out and saying, you know, where, how can I access it? And ultimately, look, at the moment, she's wanting, what, some fully-fledged port, which is unlikely. How do people play it if they're in a Mac? Uh, I think there are ways to do it. Like, I don't know that I can officially sanction them, but with some, you know, proper <laughs> searches, I'm sure you can find a way to make that happen. Um, yeah, it's really about, you know, when you look at different platforms, you have to look at not only the cost of doing it, but just the opportunity cost about where you're spending your time. And when you think about how many more platforms you support and all the testing you have to do and how you, you know, one of the things of being a live service is we have to be able to update the game really quickly. And mm -hmm. the more platforms and the sort of the broader you go, the harder it is to be agile and responsive. And so, you know, we never say never. It's something, you know, we're always aware of, but like right now, that's, that's not one of our supported platforms. Where is disruption or indeed headaches for you at the moment, Rod? I think of just the amount of people, talent, new material that you want to bring in to your sphere. I'm thinking of the upending of content production that's currently happening in the world of movie making or script writing and, and people wanting to see more benefits. I'm worried also about generative AI. We think about how that's going to eventually be influencing the world of gaming. How do you lean into that? How do you ensure this macro environment isn't stopping you from growing at the pace you need and want to? Yeah, it's really about sort of understanding what your demands are for the content that you have and the team size you need. Because as I was saying, you know, 20 years ago when I made a game, you finished it and you went on vacation because there's nothing else you could do about it. And today you finish a game and the next day the players want to know what's new. Uh, and so you have like to Ed. be <laughs> yeah, so yes. like, so you have to keep, you know, you have to be able to have your team size and your team 
processes yeah. and and organizational structure to be that you can work sustainably like you and that's the big focus for us you know we when you're working on a game like this we're working on the main game right now but season one is finishing up a development season two development is almost done expansion one expansion two so we Broad. have all these parallel teams well i'm sorry I've got, I've got to jump in i've got to ask you about end game there are yeah. lots of people not happy about tweaking of end game <laughs> the process of right. that your response very quickly uh, we're day 10, right? And so, like I said, we're going to be supporting this game for years to come. So there's going to be, when you have 350 million player hours applied to the game, you're going to find some things that aren't working quite the way you want them to. So we're taking the, like these early times to build a solid foundation and that we can then grow on top of. So there's lots of great stuff. We're actually doing a dev stream this afternoon that we're going to be talking to our players directly about it.